All ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP Block. My name is Dan, the man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. When we last left off, we were having an existential crisis. Uh, Sora seems to be remembering some girl that we've never seen before. Uh, she was not in Kingdom Hearts 1, and we're under the impression that perhaps she moved away at a very young age and Sora just completely forgot about her at some point, and... Now that's the conundrum that he is currently under, so, you know, that sucks a little bit, but hey, maybe maybe we'll find out more if we continue going upwards. Uh, I don't remember if we talked to Donald and Goofy. Uh, something's about to make you remember your friend's name. Another friend, huh? Why didn't you mention her before? I think we, uh, I think I have talked to him. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna be moving on to another world, and we only have two more left in this set, I believe. Uh, yes, we do. We have Monstro and Halloween Town. And, uh... I always leave Halloween Town for last, so for this one, we're going to be hopping into Monstro, so without further ado, pop that card in, Sora boy, and let's get our way. Get, get our way, that's, I'm trying to be hip and dip, popping stupid and fat and fresh, and fuck, I can't even come up with lingo. So, of course, we're going to skip this bullshit, get ourselves a key of beginnings. And we're gonna make our way through Monstro. As you can clearly see, it's very similar to how it used to be in Kingdom Hearts 1. Every every place in this game looks exactly how it used to. Uh, the only difference is now it has like a weird box design instead of uh, you know, what it's supposed to. Um, but now we have to do the painful thing of making our way over to the place that we need to be. So first off, let's use a calm bounty to get ourselves the treasure of this area. Because if you recall, using a Calm Bounty makes you get a treasure and you unlock something. Uh, using a Calm Bounty the first time always gives you a treasure. I've already mentioned this, so I don't even know why I'm talking about it. But hey, we got Fire Raid. So Blizzard Wade, the uh, Blizzard, uh, Blizzard Wade was pretty good, and I'm assuming that Fire Raid is also pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, but yes, let us let us move on. Let us try to try to make it through these big, empty, not very interesting places to visit. I think we already found a fucking yeah, we found a door already. What is this? Uh, that's the second door we need to go to, not the one we need to go to right now. But for this, we'll just go up. And just so you know, since I'm since I'm showing this off right now, since I'm showing the areas that we're visiting currently uh what am i talking about i'm gonna just i'm just gonna make sure that we don't fight any enemies <laughs> oh my god i'm let's playing an rpg and we're not gonna fight any enemies dan what the hell's the matter with you well you already know my stance on that the, this game is full of crap that we've already seen and to be perfectly frank with you I'm doing it because it has plot related stuff that if people are watching my let's plays in order they will need to know some of this stuff so of course I have to play through it and I'm showing off the important stuff don't worry if you want to see the fullness this is if you want to experience this game in its entirety and I'm not fully sure that you do like I said before, it's a good game, but like this, it, this game drags on, <laughs> and you will see that as the game goes along further. Uh, but bringing it back to what I was talking about, uh, since I'm showing off all the areas as Sora, like I'm showing you the rooms and the doors and what they all look like or whatever. When we do something later, I'm going to be showing none of this. I'm like the first time we do something, I'm going to show the what it looks like. Uh, because I, I'm trying to avoid spoilers here in case you've never played Chain of Memories before. But if you're, you know what I'm talking about, uh, where you are going to have to do a, another playthrough. Uh, and that's about as far as I'll let that be. But in the next playthrough, I'm not going to worry about showing off, uh, any of the walking around in the areas like this. Because this is, you're, you're seeing exactly what you need to see with Sora. Uh, and then in the second part, the second playthrough, I'm not going to show any of it because there's no need. Because it's the same shit, and I would rather not waste your time, or my time, so we're just going to, you know, <laughs> not deal with that. And the second playthrough is mostly going to just be boss fights. Because, I mean, that's all the second playthrough really is. That's all the first playthrough really is. 
because we keep skipping the Disney scenes, and I want to reiterate, just in case you're mad about the fact that we're not showing off those cutscenes, go watch the Kingdom Hearts 1 Let's Play. You'll, it's, it's more entertaining because you get to see the cutscenes voice acted and in full, which you do not get to see in this because they're watered down, and I've already complained about this. I'm just finding something to complain about again. Chain of Memories... Chain of Memories is not a game that you will look back on fondly after playing as much... After, after you've played this game as much as I have, you won't look back on it quite as fondly as you used to. Uh, it's... It's, 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 it's something, let me tell you. Poor, poor Chain of Memories. It's, it's... If you gotta play Chain of Memories, I'd say the fun thing to do would play it on game, play it on Game Boy Advance. This game it clearly feels like it was made for a uh, uh, Game Boy Advance. We can skip this. I'm sorry. Uh, oh man, I should have changed my deck. I still have my grinding deck. You know, I did a previous recording of this a long while back before, and uh, oh no, I, I made I got the right I got the right deck. We're good. So here's the parasite cage. He's incredibly similar to how he was before, and what you're gonna want to do here is break him, heal, and breaking him will eventually give you a Mickey card, which you do want to use, because if you've noticed, the floor is lava. <laughs> Not literally. The The floor is made up of uh, poison, and the longer Sora stands in it, he will continue to get poisoned, and of course that's not bueno. Uh, but once it's gone, you can just wail on him, and he ends up dropping health orbs, so you really don't even need to use the Mickey card. You can just keep beating the crap out of him, uh, and then recharge as necessary. So, oh, I use Cloud. Oops. Yeah, good. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for breaking my Cloud, bro. But every time Sora touches the poison, he starts taking damage from it, which is not cool at all. Unfortunately, but did we get my heal back? I did. Boom, baby. So you've got a couple of methods that you could go about doing this fight. You could break him and get Mickey cards, which is the safer route to go, I'd say. Uh, which I think I'll do here just to, you know, show it off one more time. Ow. Uh, this is not good. I need to heal up. Okay. You are a jerk, sir. You know what? I'm not, I don't need to show shit off. You're dead. Fuck you. You're dead. I don't give a crap. <laughs> I don't even know why I was wasting time there. Let's just finish him off. No, no, no doo-doo business. I ain't having that shit. You're not gonna get a cheap shot off of me and fuck me over. You are dead, my friend. And that was the parasite cage. He can be kind of annoying if you're... A glass cannon like I currently am. He could mess you up. You could kill yourself by constantly landing in the acid pool, which is, you know, no bueno. But like I said before, Chain of Memories is stupid easy to break, so we were prepared for the fight. And we can skip the events again, unfortunately. <laughs> That's the bad part of this Let's Play, is most of it is just going to be me cut cutting through stuff. Uh, but that was only the second door, so, haha, April, April's tricks, you were fooled. You thought that was the boss fight, didn't you? <laughs> so you might be grinding and accidentally stumble onto a boss fight, and I think we've talked about this before as well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn it into the ground here, but, like, it kinda sucks that sometimes you can just, like, suddenly be thrown into a boss fight because the game was like, oh, well, here you go, here's a boss fight, douche. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we could grab some cards, breaking stuff, uh, but uh, for for your sake and my sake, I'm just gonna try and push on to the boss fights as fast as possible, uh, because there's nothing really to see in these uh, areas any more than we've already seen. We've seen everything that Kingdom Hearts 1 has to offer. Why are we playing through it again? <laughs> do 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 do. Like, I, I just said we're not going to look for stuff, but, like, my, my inner cliff, though, just makes me want to break shit. It's a video game. I'm a gamer. When they give me breakable objects, it's just, you, you gotta. It's it's in your nature. You're just like, mm -hmm, gotta break that shit. 
gotta I gotta I gotta put my sword to it, gotta put a bomb to it, gotta put an arrow to it, gotta put a chains of Olympus to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's not what his weapon was called. I don't know. I don't know what Kratos' weapon was called, okay? I'm sorry. I, I apologize. But this is a door. Brilliant enough. Uh, let's go into our decks, and I'm going to equip the grind deck because Blitz is going to be kind of helpful here. Not really. Not exactly. Like, you don't need it, but this place gives a lot of people trouble, and for good reason. And I'll get into it when we get into the actual fight here, but this place does suck a little bit, and I'm sorry, something just beeped, but, you know, ignore that. Uh, so, here we go. Monstro's Belly Brawl. Defeat the Heartless to fill the gauge. Fill the gauge within the time limit. Careful, the gauge will decrease with time. Um, so, I think there's two ways to do this, and I haven't tested it out myself because I just can't be bothered to, but you can, if you fill the gauge, you complete this boss fight, quote-unquote. Uh, and you're trying to get Monstro to spout you out of his spout. That's, that's the plot that goes on here. Or you're trying to get him to sneeze, uh... What, you, you get it. it. We saw this in Kingdom Hearts 1, but you're getting Monstro to sneeze, and to do that, we have to, to fill up this gauge by beating the crap out of Heartless. But the secondary victory condition that I don't know exactly if it's true, uh, as soon as you defeat all the Heartless in this area, I think you automatically win the fight. So, typically, I just go nuts with a Blitz or something that does a lot of damage to an area of effect, and I just, you know, go ham on some, uh, some Heartless. Uh, but as you can see, as you kill the enemies, the bar goes up. Hopefully you'll actually hit them because these are shadows and they annoyingly go into the ground every so often. So uh, it's very easy to miss your target. And this is the last Heartless. And as you can see, I didn't exactly fill the bar, but we still got the victory. So I'm pretty sure that works exactly the way I think it does, but not entirely sure. But that was a victory for us skip all these cutscenes because we don't need to see them we don't need to see any of them boink we've made it to another conqueror's respite we are climbing a rib cage which is weird because why is this here it's not even the size of the whale <laughs> whatever i'm sure there's a there's a some sort of thing here i, I don't know i don't think there's a fight after this but I'm gonna equip this deck just in case. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's walk through and get a cutscene. So right after I just said I don't really remember about that, I said go on. Mm, just bits and pieces. Maybe you could try telling us some more stuff about her. Who knows? It might even help you remember other things. Well, uh... She was quiet, and always drawing. When we'd go to the beach, she'd draw a picture instead of swimming. Sometimes she'd draw us, too. She was really good. <laughs> I remember Riku and I fighting over who she'd draw next. But one day, she was gone, just like that. I think the grown-ups knew the reason. They might even have tried to explain some of it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying after she was gone. But that's all. I still don't remember her name. Oh, I bet you'll remember it in no time. Ah, <sighs> I must point out, Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them. It seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each of us. So we should forget in order to remember? Like those guys said, our most precious memories lie so deep in our hearts that they're out of reach. All that stuff about finding, 
being losing, and losing being finding? I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they meant. Gore, Sora, I think I'm a little jealous of you. How come me and Donald and Jiminy aren't remembering more of the stuff from our memories? Come on, Goofy! Let's get going! We gotta forget things faster! That sounds really dumb, Donald. Why would you want to forget things faster? But yes, it seems like uh, this girl that Sora's remembering was a long-lost friend that moved away at a very young age and he just kind of forgot about it and didn't understand where she went. So uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of cool and the further we go into the castle, we'll learn more about this person, I'm sure. See how much you remembered? It won't be long before her name comes back to you too. Oh, I wish I had lots of buried memories too. No, you don't. Going further into this castle is actually a bad idea. Forgetting things is bad. Just as we intended. We'll continue with our plan. Let's see how far this group will go. You had your fun on the first floor. So this time, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm not going to just give it to him. Don't break him. Well, do I detect a soft spot? I'm not gonna break the toy. I'm not dumb. Don't forget. Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take over the organization. I know that you're in on it too. But keep it under your hood. At least until the time is right. <laughs> you would have been wise to have done the same, Larkseen. So, Sora, did anything back there help you remember your friend's name? Uh... Her name's the only thing I can't seem to remember. You gotta try! Hurry up and remember it! <laughs> so it seems there's turmoil even in the organization, or whatever the hell they are. Uh, they seem to be... Axel seemed to be implying that the, whatever they were doing, they were being stupid because she gave away their plans, so... There's something going on in the background that we just don't understand, and it's really not even that we're a part of that story, because Sora, Donald, and Goofy are just stupidly trying to forget memories so they can remember other memories that probably don't exist. So, you know, this this is all just going all around in circles, but I think we have uh, just enough time maybe to get through one more world. So let's let's hop into Halloween Town, shall we? Gonna pop that card in. You're gonna do the do, uh, ride the wave of supersonic. What the hell? Wait a minute, we just walked through that door and wound up back here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was, that was movie magic, kids. I used editing to fool you, haha, <laughs> April's tricks. But no, uh, the recording that I just did a second ago messed up and I have to scavenge, or... I have to uh, retrieve the footage that I have and just use it for the episode. But when I looked back after the footage messed up, I realized we were going on for longer than 20 minutes anyway, so I figured we should probably just end it there. Uh, so, yeah, that's all the time we have for this one. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Later days, everybody. Later days, everybody.